Welcome back to Little Grey Box. It's Phoebe here with Matt behind the camera. And on this channel, we share with you all our experiences and tips to help you travel well. And in today's episode, we are in New Zealand, in the South Island, checking out awesome Christchurch. Christchurch is actually New Zealand's oldest established city, with archaeological evidence suggesting Christchurch was first settled way back in 1250. Has some pretty unique ties to its English heritage too. Now as you move around the city you're going to see a lot of older buildings that are crumbling or fallen down and lots of brand new buildings as well. And that is all due to the earthquake that decimated the area way back in 2011. For me, when I visit Christchurch, I think of it as being a destination that's great for food and incredibly art as well. Let's go and check it out and show you what there is to see, do and eat. We're starting our adventure here with a caffeine fix. You know we need it. Um, so there are plenty of great spots to choose from around Christchurch, but I found this place called Unknown Chapter. And what I loved about it is they roast their own coffee on site and they also bake fresh on site as well. And I think that's a recipe for a great coffee. Let's give it a go. First sip. That's really good coffee. Yum. Now, Matt and I have a huge day of food ahead of us. Christchurch is going to be a big foodie adventure for us. So we are starting off with small with some freshly baked sourdoughs, lathered in peanut butter. Oh, travel fuel. day of sightseeing here in the city we jumped on the Christchurch tram now this is a local icon the tram we are on is the Invercargo one which dates back to around 1921 the whole loop of the city takes around 55 minutes or so and it's hop on hop off throughout the day but we just did the whole loop once just to get a sense of it Matt and I have been to Christchurch a few times and I have to be honest I've never connected with the city that just changed it I finally have a sense of what this place is I got to see all of the major sites and I'm really starting to connect the dots of what makes Christchurch special and such a great city. I've got scars in all the wrong places. Construction of the famous Christchurch Cathedral began way back in 1864 and it is a fantastic example of neo-gothic revival architecture. Now originally they were tossing up should they build it out of stone or should they build it out of timber to be a little more earthquake friendly. In the end they made the decision to go with stone and that's why it didn't fare so well in the 2011 quake. Now as you're moving around the city you're going to see a lot of reinstatement happening and this is one of the projects so they are working to restore that and get it back up and running. But take note as you're moving around you won't see any new buildings built any higher than around 28 meters high or six to seven stories high. They also have to be that same height or depth I guess underground too and that is to again ensure that we don't have any of those same things repeating should another earthquake of that magnitude strike. So can't change the way I know you think. Our tram tour guide Gordon gave us the hot tip that Taranga, the Christchurch library is the spot to visit and he was right it is so beautiful in there architecturally and so warm and cozy. I've never seen a library quite like it and you have to come here to level four. We get amazing views from the rooftop garden. I've never seen the church from that angle before. It's really fascinating. As you walk around Christchurch you're going to see a lot of street artwork and also a lot of sculptures. After the earthquake happened those street artworks were a way of bringing some vibrance, some colour, some warmth and comfort back into the city and lift people's spirits. Interestingly it's also because all the art galleries and museums were closed so the city itself became the art gallery. We 
Regent Street is the only complete heritage streetscape in Christchurch. The buildings here are from the Spanish Mission era and they are gorgeous, painted in a lovely pastel color palette. Now the shops below them are all kinds of eateries, boutiques, that kind of thing. So it's well worth coming down here and checking them out. And our tram master told us the warm cookie yeah. shop over there is the spot to visit. They're so cool. You can see them go under the water. <laughs> Open seven days a week, the Riverside Market is the perfect place to come when you are hungry. Everything's indoors, loads of vendors in here and every single cuisine type that you could possibly think of. So one, it's weatherproof, so if it's cold and raining outside, you can hide out. And two, lots of food, best thing ever. I mean, what you're gonna wanna do is what we did, which is take a lap around the place and decide what to have from there. Make sure you go upstairs the second level and have a look down from over the top, because it's really kind of cool. The masala doza is one of my all-time favorite Food. So when I saw they had the Dozer Kitchen here, I had to eat it. Um, I'm going to be really picky with it. I'm not going to hold back. If it's not good, I'm going to let them know because I'm fussy about my Dozer. All right, nice and crispy on the outside already. That's a good start. Yep. Bang on. That is a good Dozer. Oh my goodness, wasn't the sun out before? You know what, it really is like England here. Oh, getting ready for our epic shred sesh tomorrow. This is what you want to see. This is where the tram really comes in handy. All the sightseeing, none of the rain. <laughs> On a cold and gloomy afternoon like this one, you want to get indoors. So we're going to go and check out the Christchurch Art Gallery. Now it is open until 5 p.m. and free to enter. Perfect. Let's go have a look. Being an art gallery is a little hard for us to film in there. Um, a lot of exhibitions have restrictions, so you'll have to use a bit of your imagination, but definitely jump on the website for the art gallery before you come and see what exhibitions they have, because for a free experience, that was fantastic. Now we've come outside, it is four seasons in one day here. It was hailing earlier. It was cold and windy this morning. The sun is out behind me. This direction, it's all gloomy. Make sure you are dressed for any kind of season here. <laughs> accommodation here in Christchurch we are staying at the centrally located Muse Art Hotel. Welcome to room 402 with mid-century modern decor and so much old world glamour and elegance. Now all across the fourth floor and here in our room you are going to see artworks by Kyla Kay, a tribute to the elegance and glamour of the 50s and 60s. Our corner suite lets in so much natural light and that bed and those pillows are so very comfortable. The perfect spot for relaxing and enjoying those incredible views over Christchurch, the mountains and beyond. What better way to experience a city than to have a local show you around? And that's exactly what we're doing tonight with the guys at Amiki Tours. Now they specialize in cultural and food tours that take you to some of the best hidden gems in the city and include a healthy dose of Maori storytelling and local culture as well. And that's just um, us going from being, uh, not being connected to now we're connected. So now all the formalities are apart. We can now just go for a hikoi or a walk see some of the sites and then we'll go have some kai and I'll get to know you more, okay. you'll get to know me and then we'll just go on this journey. Right. Sculptures, art, street art has become a real focal point of the city. They want Stores. people to paint on a lot of our buildings. They do great varieties of food and it's the only place I know of that does a vegan platter. <laughs> We're in Christchurch or Ototahi. I'm with Phoebe and Matt, and we're about to have some food at the OGB or Old Government Building. Over here, we have our vegan platter, vegan um, schnitzel, a, a vegan chicken, a vegan pastrami, and Matt and I have a collection of um, hot chicken wings, prawns, mushrooms. So, thank you very much. Enjoy. Yum. Yeah. 
when the early Māori arrived here roughly 800 years ago, um, one of our early um, tūpuna or ancestors, his name was Tautahi. Christchurch was given the name of Ōtautahi and it means place of Tautahi. So in 1933, a new Regent Street was built and it's one of the only areas left where all the buildings are exactly the same in original pre earthquakes And Christchurch is doing really well, yeah. having Māori and European history. So um, this area is fantastic. Rock and Gelato is one of the most famous places to come for dessert and try the ice creams. It's just a beautiful place to come and just enjoy the city and tonight with the lights celebrating the Matariki we've even got the uh, town hall in its glory with the, um, the fountain going. It just makes it really special. Everything possible Dragging our homes into this battle Hoping our names will somehow appear The cellar door is about celebrating wine, so what we have before us is called a wine flight. And depending on what type of wine you, you like, um, the mixture, you can pick your type of flight. So uh, we've gone for how many do um, you know grow like this, and we have um, four great wineries from Canterbury. I've gone for the witchcraft and wizardry flight. Um, looks amazing. So we've got, um, what is this, a Riesling from Central Otago. We've got a Chenin Blanc from Hawke's Bay. We never got to try any wine from Hawke's Bay, even when we were in Hawke's Bay. Uh, a Cabernet Franc from Canterbury and oh, Central Otago Pinot Noir. That was an incredible experience. Our entire evening with Riwe was unforgettable. It feels like we really got to experience Maori culture and connect on a human and soul level. Now you guys, Matt and I are gonna get into bed. We have an early start tomorrow because we are going skiing and snowboarding. We are gonna hit the snow for, a f for the first time in a very long time. And that is gonna be our amazing second day here in the Christchurch area. So let's get some sleep and I'll see you in the morning for an epic shred sesh. Now one of the best things about Christchurch is that it is very close to what I believe to be the South Island's most underrated snow destination for visitors. Now when we think about going skiing or snowboarding in the South Island, most of us are going to think of spots around Queenstown and Wanaka straight away, but you don't have to go that far to get on the snow or on piste. That's right, you're going to be hearing a lot of lingo today, I'm kind of a professional skier. So we have come here to Mount Hutt. Now Mount Hutt is only about a 1 hour and 45 minute drive from Christchurch. It is so easy and so fast to get up here. Just warming up with some coffees and then we're gonna get out there and you know what time it is. You know that feeling when evil surrounded you. It's only found that you absolute and accountable, accounted for by the infallible, seem incompatible. We got in a few practice runs and I can tell you muscle memory is an amazing thing. The second you get on top of the mountain, it's like your, your mind and your body just take over and it all comes back and we're zooming down there. Got in a few great warm-ups um, and now we're having a little bit of lunch. Oh, look at all that chicken and bacon. The chippies are delicious. They do amazing mulled ginger beer, mulled wine, teas, coffees, all of it. So don't worry about bringing food when you come up here if you don't want to. Just eat here. This stuff is delicious. Off menu, off paste. You know how we do. Mmm. Yum. Christchurch and here at Mount Hutt has been part of a three and a half week long road trip that Matt and I are doing in our rental car from the amazing team at Go Rentals. I cannot recommend them highly enough. If, now you guys, one last tip I want to leave you with is Matt and I hooked ourselves up with a couple of SIM cards before we left Australia and it has been a godsend having local SIMs from the second we touched down in Auckland to start this trip. We've been able to navigate everywhere, stay in touch with family, stay in touch with you guys here on YouTube. Um, it has been amazing. So we got those from Sims Direct. I don't know why we've never done local SIM cards before. 
the epic. We will have those linked below for you. So definitely grab one if you're coming here. Given that Matt and I are doing a road trip, it made more sense for us to stay right here in Methven. It took us about 25, 30 minutes at the most to drive from the ski area right here to our Airbnb. And it has been a great spot for us to stay. Really spacious, a great base for anybody visiting Mount Hutt. There's a couple of pubs, the famous Blue and Brown pubs, some great local eateries, a grocery store, some liquor stores, some takeaway spots. And we ducked into one of those last night. And with that, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you enjoyed it and you're feeling inspired to check out Christchurch and Mount Hutt. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a really great weekend and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya!